Mrs. Knorr, starring Barbara Britton and Richard Denning. Talk to me. You have someone with you. No, Jerry, I'm not going to call back later because if I do, I might forget what it was I wanted to say. What do you mean in that case it isn't important? It certainly is important. All right. I'll hold on. Now, uh, what was it we were talking about, uh, Miss Alvarez? It is about my picture. Uh, I have decided you will not use any photos of me at all. Come now, Miss Alvarez. We're all enthusiastic about your picture. Just every day we get to publish a beautiful novelist like you. You think I look good? I don't believe you. You're just saying that because you are a very nice man. No, honestly, Miss Alvarez, you, you have most film stars backed off the map. You have glamour, you know. <laughs> I think you will always be my publisher. You will call me Lolita, because we are going to be very good friends. You are not like most American men. Tú eres muy simpático. With you, I can speak of what is in my soul. Of course. Uh, excuse me just a moment. Now, look here, Jerry North. Who's in your office anyway? You'll tell me later. Well, I don't see what... Well, it seems to me... I know you're busy. All right, I'll hold on. <clears throat> you miss uh, Lolita, we publishers consider the author's uh, picture very important. It adds human interest to the book. Oh, I'm sorry. It is impossible. I have changed my mind. No photos at all. But I... We... <sighs> I've already used it. What? This I don't like. This I don't want. Where? Well, we ran it in a pre-publication ad in Publishers Weekly. And what is this magazine? It's a trade paper for the booksellers. Oh. Well, perhaps not too bad. But nowhere else. This, you must promise me. But I don't understand. What, what harm will it do? Hmm. Jerry, someday I will tell you everything. When we became old friends, I would tell you about my life. Now you must think. That Lolita, she's a little crazy. Well, if you say so. But I, I certainly wish you didn't feel this way about it. Then everything is all right, and you will sell a million copies of my book. Well, we'll certainly do our best. One more promise you must make. You will not give my address to anyone. Oh, well, no publisher would. But you know, Lolita, you're making me awfully curious. What are you, an international spy? No, Jerry, I'm not that. I'm a woman who has suffered. That is all. Goodbye, Jerry. Well, it's about time. What? What did I have on my mind? Well, now, of course, I can't remember. Mi amor, mi alma. I've waited. I've suffered. I've had lunch. I'm sorry, Enrique. I was with my publisher. And this publisher? What kind of man is he? He's nice. So I sit here while you flirt with your so nice publisher, eh? Huh? It is business. Business. Do you think I don't know Joe? With Joe, there's just one kind of business. You will not talk to me in this way, or I'll leave you at one. I'm ashamed. Lolita, I'm a man driven out of his mind. You know what I feel for you. Consomme. Oh. You know how it is with me. When I do not see you, I'm... I'm in prison at, in silence, in nothingness, in death. A Spanish omelette. 
What's the secret of your magic? Sparrow's tip. Why do your eyes scorch my flesh like two flames? And a glass of wine. Why do my words fall at your feet like broken arrows? Why do you trick me so? Enrique, are you reading me a new poem? I've written ten poems and burnt them all. Of what you are poems when it is you I long for. Enrique, I have decided. It will best if you return to Buenos Aires. Lolita, when I followed you, you, you promised me happiness. But you are not happy here. I cannot leave you. You shall not. When my book is published, when I have made a money, I will shallow you. But if I could have written the book. No, says Enrique. All you did was writing down my life. The book is completely mine. But we can't go back to your husband. We will go to Buenos Aires. Always you make promises and always you keep me waiting. This time we shall be happy. This time we shall find peace. And with the money for my book, we buy a finca, an old house with a eucalyptus tree and many pigeons. And you shall be my caballero. All the way. Lolita, I think you are lying to me. No, I think you will always lie to me. And I will pretend to believe your lies because I cannot live without the sound of your voice, like sweet rain falling on my heart. But you are not happy with the newspaper world here. In Buenos Aires, there is a publisher. I will write to him. And leave you here to flirt with this Yankee publisher, huh? Oh, Enrique, you are a child. Write your poetry and leave everything else to me. Lolita, if I thought there was someone else, I would kill myself. Or you. That is enough of that. I don't wish you to remain in New York. And if you really love me, you will do what I ask. Don't play with me. Was I forbidden you to see me? But I'm suffering. You will end by making me angry. No, Lolita. We shall not quarrel. We will talk again. Now I must return to the stupid newspaper office. It is payday. If tonight we will have dinner together, yes? Look, it's a restaurant that a friend has recommended. All the Spanish food. We will order paella. Huh? Oh, I'm late already. Here everything is done on time. Tonight at 8 o'clock, you will meet me in this restaurant. Si, está bien. Oh, Lolita, you are the moon in my night of desolation. The young lady will take care of the check. You mean to say you kept me dangling on that phone while that South American snake fluttered her eyelashes at you? She doesn't flutter her eyelashes. What does she do, hold your hand? Well, now, Pam, all we do is talk business. You have passionate discussions over commas and semicolons? Any publisher has to maintain friendly relations with his authors. Jerry, I have a wonderful idea. In the future, I'll handle the friendly relations with the female authors. <laughs> You'd go over better with the men. <laughs> What's her book like? It's quite powerful. It's all about a woman with three lovers. <laughs> it's not exactly your dish of tea. Well, now, don't hold out on me. Have you got a copy? Oh, I do have an advanced copy, but... Uh... That's over. Fever in the Blood by Felicia Rosas. That's not her name. No, she insists on using a pen name. Seems anxious to surround herself with mystery. You know, maybe we could make something out of that. Who is Felicia Rosas? Who is this novelist who runs the gamut of passion? Her pulse fluttered like the wings of a dove. His voice rang in her ears with the piercing sweetness of rippling flutes. Her breath sobbed in her throat as his passionate eyes pierced the very roots of her being and his lips, curved in a cruel and triumphant smile, slowly approached hers. Kiss me, Raul, she murmured. Kiss me. Mi amor. Lolita, you grow more beautiful with every day. Hmm. This you have said to so many women. You have taught me what these words really mean. Yeah, <laughs> Mom. Lolita, I must ask you something. Anything, Miss Yellow. The necklace. Yes? I must have it. I'm sorry. 
But I can understand. I love it very much because you have given it to me. Yes, but it becomes necessary for you to give it back to me. And do not ask me why. Of course I'm going to ask you why. And you will tell me. Lolita, this is very embarrassing. It is for some other woman. You want to have it for me and give it to some other woman. No, no, Lolita. Huh. Que barbaridad. I who have sacrificed everything. I who have left the general who will kill me if he find me. I who have made full of Enrique and all for you. Because you are the only one I love. Lolita, you do not understand. I understand too much. But you want to finish with me? Of course not. Please believe me. Why should I believe you when you are tired of me? I'm never tired of you. You don't care what happens to me. And I'm in danger. I have made a mistake. I have led my publisher to print my photo. What if my husband, the general, should see it? The general is thousands of miles away. And we are here. Yes, we are here. But you have ceased to love me. Why you do not trust me? I don't trust in any man. Felipe, give her up. Lolita, I am very serious. I do not care what you pretend to think. But I have to have this necklace if I am to take it away from you. So, we came to this. Well, you will not have it. Not in a thousand years. And you will not see me again. You are not half the man my husband was. And he was nothing. Vicente Francisco Alvarez. I am General Vincente Francisco Alvarez. How do you do? Do I find myself at the home of Senor Gerald North, publisher? Well, yes, yes, we're the Norths. So you are publishing a book by Lola Alvarez. Well, but look here, well, what's all this you about? You will please answer my question at once. Well, first I'd like to know who I'm speaking to. I'm General Vincente Alvarez. Well, I'm delighted to know you, General Alvarez. Uh, won't you have a seat? Now, uh, would you mind explaining why you didn't call at my office? I arrived today from South America. There was no time. No. Are you uh, some relation of Miss Alvarez? Miss Alvarez? I'm her husband. Her husband? Oh, yes, yes. Well, Jerry, didn't you know she was married? Do you mean to tell me my wife has been posing as a senorita? I'm afraid she has, General. Caramba, esa sinvergüenza, esa traidora de mi sangre. General Alvarez? Where is she? Where is she? I demand to know. Oh, now, look here. Let's, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Uh, suppose you fill in the details. Senor Nord, you need to know only this. She is my wife and she has betrayed me. But look here, you... Do you know what this means to a man like me? A man with a name descended from the conquistadores? You mean she ran away from you? Yes, senora. She ran away from me. She thinks Vincente Alvarez is a nobody. She's laughing at me, but when I find her... Why did she run away from you? Well, because of a scribbler from the gutter. Well, if she doesn't love you, why do you want her back? Senora Nord, you do not understand. She will return to her place in my house for the rest of her life. And uh, she will not run away again, I'll guarantee. Oh, now look here, General Alvarez. Aren't you exaggerating this whole thing? Exaggerating? Senor North, in my country, the law will not judge me harshly if I killed her. Oh, but look here, General Alvarez. You are right, Senor. Perhaps I talk too violently. Of course, I do not mean it. It's only talk. What makes you think your wife is in New York? From a photo in some publication, we have traced her to your firm, Senor North, and I have come to you for her address. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't give it to you. But this woman is my wife. Oh, it can't be done. No publisher ever gives out an address. Oh, you, you could write her a letter and we'll forward it. Caramba! You say this to me? To General Vincente Alvarez? But this is not to be endured. That's too bad, old man. I know how you feel, but I can't make any exception. Have I your permission to use the telephone? Oh, certainly. Go right ahead. Call Buenos Aires. Pedro? Si, sí, estoy al apartamento del editor ahora, pero no quiere. ¿Ah? ¿Verdaderamente? 
Magnífico. Estoy listo, sí, sí, sí. Sí, bueno. Bueno. Perfectamente. Gracias. I do not need you, señor Nord. He has learned the address. Señora Nord, buenas noches. Señor Nord, buenas noches. I say, your friend Lolita leads a very poor life. Pam, this may be serious. I, I wonder if I ought to warn her. Well, I don't see why you should get mixed up in it. Yeah, but if he really means what he says... Well, do men ever mean it when they shout, do you? I'm not a South American general. Oh, really, Pam, this, this Lolita's not a bad sort. I thought all you and she ever did was to talk business. Now, this is no time to be facetious. I'm going to call her. Hmm. I thought you could never remember phone numbers. Hello? 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 It's funny. Someone took off the receiver and when I said hello, hung up. I don't like this. Pero, pero ¿qué pasa? Pero si tú sabes que te quiero, que no, no hay otro, solamente tú, por favor, no. Mentirosa. Someone must have been there when you called. Of course, she could have gone out again. Well, let's go on. Now, Pam. It wasn't locked. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I... I better call Bill Wagon. Lieutenant Wagon, please. Jerry North calling. Bill. You know, I'm fine. Bill. You know, she's fine, too. Look, Bill, it, it looks as though we've run into something in your department. Yes, again, Bill. Look, it... No, I'm afraid it is. You better come right over. Uh, 506 East 50th Street. Yeah, apartment 4B. Right, I'll tell you all about it when you get here. Amour means love, doesn't it? Maybe this is a love letter. Pam, do you think we ought to... It may be important. I don't think that Bill can read Spanish. Ah, pretty passionate stuff. Listen to this. I would rather see you dead than in the arms of another. Signed? Enrique. Yes, he's a short, dark fellow. You can't miss him. He wears a uniform. Uh, what was that first name again? Vincenti. General Vincenti Alvarez. Yeah, try all the hotels, will you? He said he arrived today from South America. Oh, and check the passenger list of all planes and ships arriving from South America today. Yeah, that's all for now. Uh, Jerry, tell me more about this woman. Well, I, I don't know very much. She was rather secretive about her private life. You think this husband of hers is dangerous? Well, Pam doesn't think so, but... but I don't... What's that? Lolita, who are you? Did you kill her? No, I swear it's on my head. I... Who hit you? I don't know. My head, I'm dizzy. I'll get some cold water. What are you doing in Miss Alvarez's apartment? We were to have dinner tonight in a restaurant. And she didn't come. I became angry. I arrived at the apartment. The door is not locked. She's lying 
I shot. I go to her. I bend down. That's all I know. What's your name? Enrique Romero. Enrique? Bill, look at this. Here's a letter from this fellow threatening to kill her. Oh, no, senor, I swear it. I love her, James. She make me suffer, James, but I don't kill her. First, I would kill myself. Your poor head here. Let me help you. Well, here's the weapon. No prints. What do you bet? Is this yours? No. Oh, Lolita. It's all the way to say. Why have you always lied to me? Why have you played with fire? Why have you destroyed many souls? Why have you left me? Why have you journeyed into darkness where my voice and my tears cannot reach you? <laughs> After all, I suppose he couldn't very well have knocked himself out. That part of his story must be true. What sort of name was this? What's going on here? Well, Bill, I guess she was what they call in French a femme fatale. Yeah, well, all I can say is I hope she didn't have any more boyfriends. <laughs> what is this? Where is Senorita Alvarez? I'll be telling us who you are. Felipe Rioseque Monteverde at your service, sir. I'm Lieutenant Wagon. This is Mr. North, Mrs. Alvarez, publisher. Mrs. Alvarez? You must be mistaken. She's not married. Oh, but she is. I met her husband, General Alvarez, tonight. Married? But where is she? I do not understand anything. What are you all doing here? Well, suppose you tell us what you're doing here. I? Uh, I'm to have dinner with my fiancée, Senorita Alvarez. I bring her flowers. But where is she? Liar! She's dead, and you kill her. Holman, be careful what you say. Oh, I read it in your face. Filthy aristocrat. She would not love you, so you kill her. Who is this? A lunatic? Murderer with my dick! <laughs> here. Mrs. Alvarez has been murdered. What? This is unbelievable. Bill, what does he have in his hand? All right, hand it over. Whatever it is, he just got it off the desk. Initials FRM. Does this belong to you? Yes, it is mine. I left it here a few days ago. Then why were you trying to hide it? Well, the one doesn't like to be suspected. Who is this man, Bill? Well, he says he had a date with Mrs. Alvarez. Mancini Brothers Florist. Well, they have a shop just halfway down the block. I noticed it was open when we came by. He could have bought these just a few minutes ago to back up his story. Bill, one thing fits. Suppose Enrique was jealous because she broke her date with him to go out with this Mr. Ray Oh, excuse me. Hello? Wagon speaking. Yeah. Come on, Canadian! Sit. Keep your eye on him, Jerry. All right. No, no, we just had a little excitement here. You found the general. Oh, he won't, huh? Oh, well, he does. Well, I don't care who he is. Wait till I get to work on him. And hold him until I get there. Come on down and talk to this dame's husband. I'm not through with you two yet. Want to see the first thing in the morning for further questioning? But aren't you going to arrest the murderer? What? Well, Pam, Bill will take care of everything. But I don't see why you want to wait until tomorrow. What? 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 She tore up his picture. She tore up his picture? Yes, I found the pieces. She had pictures of the other two, but they were stuck away in a drawer. Well, what if she did tear up his picture? Well, that shows that he was the one that mattered. The others weren't important. Uh, Pam, you're way beyond us. Well, no, he I... must have given her the necklace. What necklace? The diamond necklace, of course. You said she had one. I guess you wouldn't give it back. No, what's all this about a diamond necklace? Well, I think this is the case. I found it in the waste paper basket. Now, why don't you see if this gentleman has the necklace? Is that it? The one she wore at the press party I didn't get to go to? Yeah. Well, come on, why don't you come on out and talk to me? I will in a minute. You've been in there for the last 20 minutes. Why do women always disappear into bedrooms and powder rooms for hours? What do they find to do? All sorts of things. You like me like these? In heaven's name. I know I speak the English very good. <laughs> Maybe you like the Spanish accent. Que linda te quiero. Senti no podria venir. Kiss me, Ralph.
Mr. and Mrs. North is directed by Ralph Francis Murphy. A John W. Loveton production. Produced by Federal Telefilm. Starring Barbara Britton and Richard Denning, featuring Francis DeSales. This has been a film presentation.